Welcome to Tinkley's YouTube channel. Mr. Zudo welcomes you. Hi, Barbie welcomes you. I am back again. Today I will show you an interesting game. Hope you will like it. I love to play table tennis with my friends, but because of this corona pandemic, I was not able to play with my friends because all the TT courts are closed. We were not able to play. So I thought of creating a video game based on TTT. And I came up with this Pong idea, this Pong game, which I will show you today. So this is my Pong game. I'll just click here. Let me show you this game. So in this, the paddle is controlled by the left and right arrow keys of your piece of your keyboard. Okay, and the ball ball will bounce on that pod paddle. Okay, I will just click here on this green flag and let's see. See, my ball is bouncing, and my score is also increasing. Oh. Game over. So this is our Pong game. So let me show you one more game. Next is Brick Smash game. Here we have uh, simple, simple bricks. Bigs, bigs as a sprite. And here our paddle will move through the mouse pointer and ball will get bounce on that uh, bricks. Whenever, then whenever ball touches that breaks, the break will hide. So let me show you. So let's check. Uh -oh. See, my breaks are hiding. So here we will use mouse. See. So my lives became zero, the time got, sorry, the game got over. Here we also have a timer concept in which we can set the timer and whenever the timer ends, our game will over. Okay. So we are going to learn how to create this game. So our journey starts. So first of all, we are going to learn about a bouncing logic. We are going to create the Pong game. Second, we will learn how to draw sprites in scratch. And third, stop is the life's logic. And fourth is the brick smash game. Now let's start. So our first stop is Pong game. Here we are going to use some bouncing logic. So let's start with our bounce game. Sorry, Pong game. So this is our scratch platform. I will just click here on create. So here we will select some sprites. So we need 
ball and a paddle. So let's select this ball and one more sprite that is paddle. Now let's add some background to make our game beautiful. So let's take this as a background. So first of all, we need to uh, write a code for this paddle. We want our paddle in the center. So we will start our game when green flag clicked. Whenever we click this green flag, our game will get stuck. So on my left hand side, the even circle, this orange circle, I will just click here and I will drag when green flag clicked. So whenever our green flag is click, click, then our program will start or we can say our game will start. So first of all, let's adjust this paddle in the center. So I will just click on this motion block that is the blue block and I will drag here go to. So we want our paddle in the center. So I will just put here X position as zero, but our uh, paddle should have some height, right? So I will just put here as a minus 140, sorry, as a minus 140 as a height. So let's check. So we have adjust our paddle. Now we want our paddle to move left and right. So when right arrow key is pressed, then our paddle should move rightward. And when left arrow key is pressed, our paddle should move leftward. So let's try to write a code. So I will just click here on the control block, this orange block on my left hand side. So I will just drag this forever. So now I want my paddle to move right first of all let's write the code for to moving our paddle to the right whenever we press right arrow key so our paddle should move rightward so i will just click here on control block if then now we want when our right key is pressed then let's click on this sensing block and let's drag this key Okay, and let's select this arrow key as a right arrow. So when right arrow is clicked, so our sprite should move right side. So I will just click on this motion block, the first one. And I will drag this move 10 steps. Let's check whether it work or not. Uh oh, let me press this green flag and see. Yes, working. Yeah, now we want our uh, paddle to move left side. So we will press left arrow key for that so i will just click on the control block and i will drag this if condition now when we press left key so our uh, paddle should move leftward so i will just click on the sensing block and i will drag the key pressed that is when left arrow key is pressed then i want my sprite to move left side so I will just click here on the motion block and I will drag this move 10 steps. Here I will write as minus 10 because we want our sprite to move left side. If we put 10 steps, then it will move right side. So I will just press right here minus 10 steps and let's see. Let's press this green flag and let's move our paddle. Let's see. Okay, when I'm pressing my right key, it's working. When I press my left arrow key, yes, it's working. Our paddle is moving left and right. Now I want to write a code for the ball, for my ball. So first of all, what we want, we want to adjust the position of this ball. So on my left hand side, again, this uh, yellow circle that is events. I will just click here and drag when green flag clicked. Then I want my ball to come in the center, right? So let me show you. I will just press here green flag and see the position of this paddle. And let's set the position of this ball accordingly. Now I want my position of the ball is in the center. So I will put here zero and Y let me put here as hundred. Okay, let's check. Uh, let's press green flag and check. Yeah. 
Okay, so our ball is in the center. Now what we want, we want our ball to bounce. Okay, let me show you. If I write here the direction as 90, so our ball will move left and right. Let me show you this thing. So I will just click here on the control block and drag this forever. Now I want my sprite to move 10 steps. Okay, let's see. Now I will press my green flag. Now the direction is 90 degree. You can see in my right hand side, the sprite control area, this direction that is 90. So I will just press here green flag and see. Uh oh, our ball is going out of edge. So what we require for this, I will just drag if on edge bounds from the motion block on my left hand side. So I will just drag this if on edge bounds. See, my ball is moving left to right, but we want our ball to move up and down. So let's just change the direction to 180 degree. Let's check. So I will just point your direction as 180 degree. Now let's check. Just press green flag and let's check. Yes, our ball is moving up and down. But the, now the ball is not bouncing. So we want our ball to bounce. So what we will do? We will just click in here on the control block that if. If our ball touches this paddle, then we want our ball to bounce. So I will just click here on the sensing block and drag this touching. So when our ball touches the paddle, this paddle, so our ball should bounce. So what we will do, we will, so we will click on this motion block on my left hand side and I will drag this turn 15 degree. Okay, now I want it to bounce. We want our ball to bounce. So what we will do, I will just click here on the operator block and just drag this operator. Okay, so here we can write as 180 degree. And here in this block, we can write any random number. We can pick any random number. Let's drag this. Okay, like I have to drag, I have written minus 20 to positive 20. So we can write anything like minus 10 to positive 10 minus 30 to positive 30, we can use any number we want. So I have just selected this minus 20 to 20. Let's check, our, uh, let's check. So our ball is bouncing, see, it's working, yay. <coughs> so our ball as well as the, <coughs> sorry. So our ball as well as the paddle is working properly. So now what I want, if my ball touches this, so I want to stop all these things. So let's play, uh, press this stop button and let's go to background. <coughs> now I will click on this background and I will select here. Let's duplicate this. Okay, so what I want, I want in this only I have to put one line. Okay. Let's say, hmm. so here I want to put a line. So I will just select here the color. Let's select this red color. And let's put some line here. Okay. Yes. Okay, and in this, we can just write a text that is game over. Okay. Let's check. So let's check whether it works or not. So let's see our ball is bouncing. I'm just press green flag. Now what I want, I want if my ball touches here, then my game should get over. So I will just press this green, sorry, it's the red button that is the stop one. And I will drag here the even block when green flag clicked. Then we want if our line touches this red line, if our ball touches this red line, then we want our game to stop. 
So we can write here also, right? Here we can take the condition that if what we want, if our ball touches this red line, then we want to stop everything. So I will just click here on the sensing block and drag this touching, sorry, this touching color. Here I will click on this color <coughs> and I will click on this pen. Okay, now I want this red color. So just select this red color. So whenever our ball touches this red color, then we want our game to stop. So let's drag here the looks block and let's switch to our background that is game over one. Then we want, then we click on the control block and we want everything to stop. Let's check. Uh oh, it's not working. Yeah, it's working. When our ball touches that red color, is the game got over. So we can just put here the score part also. Whenever our ball touches that paddle, our score should increase, right? Then only, then only we are going to enjoy our game. So I will just create here variable on my left hand side, this orange circle. I will just click here and write here my variable name as score. Okay, so initially we want our uh, score to be zero. So I will just click here, set score, set score to zero. And also we want our first background here. So let's say switch backdrop to star one stars let's put here now let's check so initially we are having this uh, score equals to zero so whenever our ball bounces we want it to increase so i will just click on here on the variable and i will drag here change variable and increase it by one okay let's check whether our code work or not Let's press this green flag and check. See, my score is one, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, my game is over. So let's check, the, let's play this game again. Let's see. Just press here. Uh oh, it's working. <coughs> Again, my game is over. So, this is a pong game. Here we have learned about the bouncing logic that how to make your ball bounce. So, our second stop is drawing sprites in Scratch. So, this is our uh, paint, right? Sprite paint. Here, this area is known as canvas and this cat is known as sprite. So this first one is known as select. This is for reshaping. This is for brush. This is an eraser. This is fill, text, line, circle, and rectangle. We are going to learn this one by one. So I will just click here. This is my again scratch. Now I will click on the here on create. Now let's go to paint. And here we can do anything. Now let's select this cat sprite again. Now this is our select. If we want to select our sprite, we can select our sprite by like this. Okay. And if we want to reshape our sprite, let's reshape this sprite. Uh, so you can also reshape your sprite like this. Like this. Like this. Where is my cat? Oh. <laughs> See, what I have done with this cat, I removed this hand, legs, everything I have removed. Oh, so this cat is looking so funny, right? So we can do anything with this sprite. Now, if you want to add something in the brush, so let's take here. Okay, if I want to make something, let's say a tree. 
you can also create a tree like this. My drawing is not good at all. <coughs> but you can do, draw different, different types of uh, stripes you like. And this is the eraser. We can erase this like this. The help of this eraser. Eraser is used for removing our sprites which I have created or with whatever sprites we want to delete. Now, this is text box. If you want to write something like hello. So, this is our text. If you want to draw a circle, let's see in some color. Yeah. Okay. If you want to draw some circle, you can also draw a circle here. If you want to draw a rectangle, you can also draw a rectangle. If you want to change the color, just click here and select the color, whatever the color you like and click there. And for this, I want the green, no, not green, blue color. And I will just click here. And if you want to draw a line, you can just click here and you can draw a line. So, we have learned how to draw a sprite and how to do editing in the sprite like we have done with this cat. Uh oh, see what we have done with this cat. The cat is crying, <laughs> isn't it? So let's close this. Now the third stop is life's logic. Here we are going to learn how to create life. So when the game start, we can we start with three lives or whatever lives you want. You can select five lives, 10 lives, okay? But normally we select with three lives. Then you will get check constantly that whether our condition is true or false. If your sprite touches that enemy, in our pawn game, we have seen that red line. Whenever our ball touches that red line, our game over, right? So here we can also, Put like three lives we can take whenever our ball touches first time, second time, three times. Chance, uh, lives are nothing but a chances. Okay, then we will reduce one life. When our first of all, when our ball touches that uh, red line, red line, then our life will reduce by one. Again, similarly, if the three lives completed, then our game will get over. So this is all about the lives, and we are going to use this lives in our bricks project. So now let's create our brick smash game. So we have created this already about this part. We have created this paddle that when right and left arrow key is clicked with the help of sorry mouse pointer, when we press the left arrow key and right arrow key, our paddle will move. Similarly, we want our ball to bounce. So our ball is bouncing. Let's check whether it works or not. See, it's working. And also our score is increasing. Now I want to add some bricks. Now I want to add some brick in this project. So let's try to create some bricks. Okay, so now we know how to create a sprite. So I will just click here and select this rectangle. And let's draw this here. And let's color this as yellow. Yellow. And now we can put it here. Okay, let's reduce the size of this at 50. So we have reduced the size of our sprite. Now we'll just click here on the code section. I will put my sprite here. Now I want when my ball touches this sprite, this sprite should hide. So I will just click here on the event block. When green flag clicked, then let's add this position. Let's click that is minus 91 and 224. Let's click here on motion block, that one, that is the first one. And let's drag this. And we have checked the values that X is minus 91 and Y, 224. Now we want our sprite to show. 
Okay, let's click here. Now we will click on the control block and drag forever block. Now, if we want, if our ball, sorry, we can just click on the control block and drag if condition that if our ball touches this yellow brick, then we want the brick to hide. Okay, let's rename this as yellow. And let's drag here the sensing block that whenever touching ball, then the sprite should hide. So I will just click here on the looks block and I will drag here the height. Now let's check whether it works or not. I will press my green flag. Oh. Uh oh, my game is over. Let's check again. Yay, it's working. So, whenever our ball touches the sprite, so our sprite hide. So, let's create more sprites. So, I will just duplicate it. And I will put this brick here. And we can just adjust the position that is minus 27 and 223. Let's check. Okay. Now we want to add more bricks to make our game interesting. So I will just duplicate it. And let's name this as blue. And let's color this uh, blue col blue costume with blue color. I'll select here the blue color. And let's put here the blue one. Now I will drag here. Like this. Now I will again duplicate this. And again I will put here. Now again, I will duplicate three. Now let's write the code for this. First of all, by this, we can just add the position. The position is minus 141 and 190, 190. Now we will add the position of our next sprite that is blue two, that is, Minus 61 to 190. Again, with the blue 3, we can add the position that is 7 and 190. Now I will press this green flag. Yeah. Now we can add more sprites. We can duplicate it again and let's add here the green. For this, I will go to costumes and change the color to green. Now I will click on this code section and put my sprite here. And let's add the position that is x equals to minus 92 and 152. Again, we will duplicate it. Now I will put my brick here. And again, we can change the position to minus 14 to 152. Now let's check whether it works or not. So I will just press here the green flag. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Now let's make it more interesting. Now we are using that paddle with the help of keyboard. Right? When we press the left arrow key, our uh, sprite is moving left. Whenever we press right arrow key, so our sprite is moving right. Now I want 
my paddle to move with mouse pointer whenever i drag my mouse to right so my sprite should move right whenever i drag my mouse pointer to left my sprite should move left let's check so i will just click here on the paddle now we have created this using the keys now let's uh, create this with the help of mouse so i will just remove these both commands and i will click here on motion block and i will drag here go to sorry go to and here i will select the mouse pointer it means when wherever our mouse pointer is for moving so our paddle will move that there only so we will here we will select one more thing that we have to uh, set the y position that is of 140 this thing same because this is the height okay okay uh, and uh, if we are not using this see our paddle will move up and down also but we don't want our paddle to move up so we can adjust the height for this so let's adjust the height by using set y set y to minus 40 let's add this as minus 40 and we want to it to point 90 degree because we want our uh, paddle to move left and right. So I will just drag here point direction to 180 degree. Now let's see it works or not. Yay, it's working. See, now I am moving my paddle through my mouse. Now what I want, I want whenever my ball click on yellow sprite, then I want it to increase my score. Like uh, we can say if my ball touches that yellow, then my score should be increased by 2000. Okay, whether it is yellow one or yellow two. Okay, so our score should increase by 2000. Similarly, if blue is clicked, then our score should be increased by 3000. And if the green is increased, uh, written then, Click, sorry, then score should be increased by 100 or whatever value you want. So let, let's try to create this. So I will click here on the ball sprite. Now I will drag here when green flag clicked. Okay, when green flag clicked, we should set our store to score to zero that we already set. Okay, now what I want, I want whenever we click on that yellow, then our score should be increased. So let's drag here forever block. Then if touching, we let's go to sensing. If touching yellow ball, then we want to change our score. Then we want to change our score by one. Okay, let's check whether it works or not. I'll just press green flag. Uh oh, my game is over. Yay. Uh oh, we have changed the score by one. No, we want to change our score with 2000 because we want to increase my score. Right, I'll, now let's try. Yay, our score is increased. Whenever I click that yellow, my score increased by 2000. Now I want same thing for yellow two. This is my yellow, this is my yellow two. Now uh, I want same thing for this. So I will just duplicate it. Let's try. <coughs> Sorry. Now we can write same code for blue also. Just drag here and drag this blue. And here, when I click on this blue, I will write here 3000. Again, I will duplicate this and drag here blue 2. Again, we can score to 3000. Our score will increase by 3000. Again, we will drag the same command and blue 3. And now, again, we will write, sorry. Again, we will duplicate it 
and just let's write the code for this green. So let's select here green and let's add only 200 or 100. Okay, let's add 200 for my green sprite. <coughs> so whenever we press the green sprite, our score should increase by 200. Now again, we will duplicate it and just I will write here green 2. And again, we will duplicate it by 200. Let's check. I am pressing the green flag. Oh. Yay. So we can note down this score as 13,400. Okay. Whenever we reach to this score, so uh, our background should display that is that congratulations, you win, right? So I will just click here on the backdrop and create one backdrop. Okay, let's duplicate this backdrop. And here I will write. Hmm. Uh oh, yeah. So I will here I will write. Congratulations, you win. Congratulations, you win. So we have selected this background also. We have created this background also. Now what I want, I will click on this pedal. Okay. Now what I want, I want to create a timer also. Let's set one timer also. For this, we will create a timer. So, I will just click here on variables. And I will create my variable and name it as time. Okay. So I have created this variable as a timer variable. Now, I we can set our timer like we want our timer to 30 seconds, let's say. So, after 30, immediately that uh, screen should come or you can say our background should come. That is the game over and we have to stop everything. Okay, let's start. Now, we will start a game when green flag clicked. Okay, whenever green flag clicked, we want to set our timer. Let's set our timer to, let's say, 30. Okay. We can set any time we want. Okay. Now we want, now we'll click on this and I will write here show. Okay. Now on the control block, I will drag here the forever. Okay. So now after that, the timer should reduce by minus one. Okay, so I will just click here, oh, sorry, on the variable and drag my change variable timer by minus one. So every time the timer will reduce by minus time, minus one, sorry. <coughs> now we can add one more condition that if our score reaches to 30,400, let's say, you can take round up number 13,400. Then our background should display that. That is, congratulations, you win. Right. So let's put this. Let's go to control block and set if condition. Let's pay, pay, uh, write some weight here. Okay. So I have dragged here wait for a second. So if what we want, if our score reaches to 13,400. Then we want to switch a backdrop. That is the congratulations, you win. Now let's check if I will click on this operator and drag this. That if our score reaches to 13,400. So I will click here on the variable and drag here the score. And let's write here score that is 
So if our score reaches to 13400, then we want our backdrop to switch. That is, I think, star three. That is congratulations, you win. Then if timer, let's put one more condition. <coughs> Sorry. If timer is equal to zero, okay, then the game should stop. So if I will go to sensing block, sorry, operator block is equals to zero. Here we will take as variable as a timer. If timer equals to 50, sorry, equals to zero, then we want our game to stop. So let's go to looks and drag this backdrop and let's go to control and stop everything. Let's check whether it works or not. See how timer is reducing its value. Uh oh, I came over. Okay, let's play this game again. Game over. Again, my game is over. See, our timer is going to five, four, three, two, one, zero. So game over. Okay, now let's go to, now what we want, we want to add a life. In this, we are going to add some life so that <coughs> we can give some lives. Like here, we are having only one. Then whenever our game is over, Whenever our uh, ball touches this red line, the game over. Now we want to write this. Uh, now we want some lives. Like we can give three lives, four lives, or we can say uh, three chances, five chances. So I will just click here on the ball sprite. And let's write the code for the lives. So events when green flag clicked. Now we want our lives. So we can set, we'll take more variable. Let's name it as life. So whenever, what we want, we want to add a life. When the green flag click, we want to set the lives to, let's say three. Now we want to switch a background. Now let's switch a backdrop to start one. Starts, okay. Now we want to move this loop forever. Now let's drag this forever condition from the control block. And let's uh, say what we want. We want to change the life, okay. So, if our ball touches this line, then we want to reduce our life. So let's take this condition. Okay. Now we can drag directly this. We can put this code here. Like if, if touching this red color, right, then switch backdrop star and stop all. Now here we will we want to use stop all. Okay, we will remove this. Here when the uh, red ball touches this red color, we can set the, we can change the value. Directly change the lives. That is, we will reduce one life whenever it touches our red line. So I will just click here on variable and 
drag this change lives by minus one. So our lives will get reduced. Now we can just add the position. Let's say go to, let's add X as one and Y as 20. Let's add this position. Now what we want, if lives is zero, then we want to stop everything. So I will just click here on event block, sorry, control block. If, if lives equals to zero. So I will just click here on operator block and drag this. And here we will write zero. And here we can take a variable that is lives. So if lives equals to zero, then what we want, we want to switch a backdrop. That is this and we want to stop everything. Now let's check whether it works or not. Uh oh, see. Again, we can see one, two, uh oh, two and three. Then we are getting zero. So let's play this game again. So I will press this green flag. Ooh. See, it's working. My score is also increasing. My ti uh, timer also reducing. And I'm also having one life, three lives. Yay. Yay. One, two, and three. Yay. Game over. So, today we have learned how to create a bouncing logic. We have created Pong game. Second on second stop, we have learned how to drawing, how to draw a sprites in Scratch. Third is the life logic, and fourth is we have created a game that is Brick Smash game. Contact Tinkerly for query. So our mail ID is contact at the rate tinker dot lee. Thank you. The Barbie is signing off for a day. Stay tuned at Tinkerly's YouTube channel. Hello, I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below side for more details and queries. Hello, I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below side for more details and queries. Hello, I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below side for more details and queries.